you make me smile. I can't put a finger on this gunfire attraction or whether it's just for a moment in time. Everything is a moment in time and time has its moments. Are you listening to me? I'll make love to you like the 60s. Segregation is not my policy. I have a dream. I will embody your fears, drink your cup of insecurities. Our conversation will skip rocks across the rivers of your voids, causing a convergence to release your wholeness. Baby, don't fuck with me. This is deeper than 10 feet. This is roots in the concrete. Maybe I'm tripping. I'm playing chess and you playing checkers, or I'm playing checkers and you playing whatever. Maybe you ain't ready for me. It's funny how we get lost in transition. I love you, Robin. Uncle Charlie, I can't go back to sleep. The battle between the mind and the heart. Therefore, I call it blue art. I always knew from the beginning you would be the first one to make me feel the way that I feel. First. You gotta put it all on the line, cause I wanna make sure if you're gonna be mine. First, a first, first everything, cause I'm looking for the one, my last first. Are you still there? Yeah, kinda. What do you mean, kinda? Either you are or you aren't. Oh, I'm outside. What? Robbie? Uh, Tori, what happens when his mom starts feeling better? Uh, go back inside. He's just emotional right now. So? So are you okay? Girl, yes. The dance workshop was amazing, and now I am switching from one protective style to another. What? <laughs> Yeah, and I need to get back to it. Bye! Hey, Charlie. Hey, Robin. I'm in the Jane Austen Storytellers Club at our school, and we're raising money for our spring field trip. Would you like to buy a candy bar? No, thanks. Are your parents home? Do you know when they will be? Okay. Well, the candy bar. My dad just took my mom to the hospital. What happened to your mom? She has sarcoidosis. What? Sarco. It makes her sick a lot. Oh. Will she be okay? Hey, can I show you something? Um, stand here. Don't move. Hold my hands. What you left? Charlie, I know your mom means everything in the world to you. And I know you're really afraid. Don't do that. What? I meant what I said, Robin. 
Last week you didn't want to see me, and now you call me to come over. I know, a week ago. I was scared. Between mom and these feelings I have for you, I, I panicked. I'm sorry. What are you so afraid of? I don't know. I didn't plan for any of this. Charlie, that's life. My mom's been in and out of the hospital my entire life. I never heard her once complain. But tonight she said she was tired. What happens when she gets tired of fighting? She's not a superwoman, Charlie. It's okay if she gets tired. Can I show you something? Look up. When my grandma was sick, my dad would tell me to, to look up at the stars and to repeat after him. So, repeat after me. Trust in the night. Trust in the night. And the stars that shine. And the stars, and that, the stars shine. that shine. Trust in the moon. Trust in the moon. And know its love is divine. And know its love it's is divine. divine. Believe with all your heart that love can save. Believe with all your heart that love can save. And no matter what comes. And no matter what comes. And no matter what comes, you must be brave. That's my brother. I gotta get to the hospital. to say goodbye. Robbie, I told you to go back inside. Why, why didn't you go back inside? Robbie, why are you always running? I'm talking about your hair. Oh. What are you talking about? You're ready. For what? You are ready to take that out. Tor yeah. Mm -mm. yeah. Uh -huh. no, Tori. Yeah. No, Tori, you're leaving soon. Why would Doc. <laughs> I don't. Robbie. It's time. Okay. I'm gonna go make some tea. You're gonna go change your clothes. And then we're gonna take care of that on your head. Okay. All right. All right. Okay. And Josiah got me on this whole health kick, right? So he was saying that if I keep drinking this white tea, it has really good healing properties. And that's what I'm excited about. Cause Josiah was telling me like, you need to calm down sometimes. Because sometimes I'd be me. up and I just need to go down. What did you say? He said he loves me, Tori. <sighs> That's what I thought you said. So. So what? So what did you say? I didn't know what to say. I mean, he said he was sorry for last week. 
So he told you that and then you left? No, I stayed. And? We watched the stars. Oh. Oh, so you watched the stars. Till six in the morning, Robin? Till six in the morning, you just literally watch stars. Like the notebook part two. You just sat there and watched Shut stars. Up. Did you write a limerick or a haiku? <laughs> Shut Sonic up, Tori. This time? See, this is why I need you to stay. Robin, what's wrong? Nothing. Don't lie to me. I'm fine. How are your parents? I don't know. What? Robin, your parents stay what, like an hour away from here? Hmm? Hello? Mm -hmm. Yeah. Okay, I want you to promise me that when you drop me off from the airport, you're gonna go see your folks. Okay, Ka? Okay, Hello? okay. I. You say that. That's what you repeat after. I. Me. Promise. Promise. Together. I. I promise. promise. I promise. All right, now repeat after me again. I. I promise. Promise. I will never, ever put weave in my head again. Especially like that kind of weave where it just sits <laughs> on the top of my head. All right? Okay. Okay? okay. You promise me? Yes, I promise. Okay. Okay. And wear your hair like this. Right? Because <laughs> this is gorgeous on you. Mm -hmm. Let your mama know that this was me that did this. <laughs> Go slow now. Easy. Right, let me get the let me get the door. Oh, there goes my beautiful girl. Oh, ooh. Well, I guess the apple didn't fall far. <laughs> you know, your dad and I have missed you. Yeah, I've just been busy with the book. Mm -hmm. Where is dad? Are you hungry? No, I'm fine. Are you sure I can? No, I ate earlier. Ma, where is dad? He'll be here in a few. Your father moved into a townhouse, 15 minutes away from here. He tried calling you, Robbie. You haven't returned either of our calls. Listen, go get me a number two from Forsyth Seafood. Ma, you know you can't have that yet. Boy, go get me a number two from Forsyth Seafood. Ma, you're not going to have that after me. Don't worry about your father. Who's the boss around here, hmm? You ain't getting no number two. Go in your kitchen and get your mom that jello. When I get better, I'm gonna get the both of you. <laughs> I told you. Mm. Look at number two, huh? Hey, Robbie. Hey, baby girl. Look, your mother and I still care about each other a lot, but... <laughs> Stop. We both made mistakes. 
and, and we just don't seem to be able to heal from them, you know? <laughs> Robbie! I think I need to get back. Baby girl, you can run as much as you want. It's not gonna get you anywhere. I'm still gonna be your father. Yeah, I should be home by then. Alright. Okay. Alright, bye. Here you go, Ma. Oh. Where's that? He's in the bathroom. Thank you. Okay. I'm getting ready to head out. You need anything? No, I'm fine. You sure? I said I'm fine. Okay, you want me to wait on that? Oh, actually, get Number me. Number two, Ma. I know. Can I come in? 